Hey chess buddies, I recently had an intense match against the Dragon Chess Engine, he is currently ranked as the world's second best player, we competed in the rapid semi-finals among six participants, I'm excited to share the amazing game with you and break down some chess strategies and tactics I used in the game, let's dive in, I started the game with d4, Dragon played the modern defense because technology is the key of modern society, you can go with c4, making big space in the center. d6 and black will play these following lines, knight comes out and you can play h3 to prevent bishop entry before moving out your knight, e5 d5 a5 that's it, black is gonna bring out his knight to attack in the backward pawn and white will develop naturally, these are all theory, not Albert Einstein's theory but a chess theory by someone, you know, who knows. Knight c3 by me, we have transformed the position into the pirate defense, and here I played h4, this is called bayonet attack, a very sneaky move to feel cold sensation in your teeth. do you brush your teeth regularly, no. I am just asking, if knight c6 and if you play castle, ignoring the threat of h5, you will be a rat in front of a cat, the point is that after he captures the pawn, push the pawn, forcing black to move the knight and I capture, it's opened my bishop line, take take and you are just dead lost if you capture the bishop, how can you, as a rat, survive against this dangerous cat, game will be over and let me share a quote with you because quote gives us aspiration and a new way of directional thinking. Perhaps the bravest thing you can do is to walk away from the people and situations that are hurting your heart, so dragon blocked the attack by playing h5 himself, knight f3 c6, and he want to play blah 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 defense, Knight g5 queen a5, activating the queen in the Eiffel Tower, castle and some of you might think of playing castle, but here comes f4, try to break your two dollar ego, in a sudden move I will play f5, even if you caught my knight I will donate my knight to dragon, because I always donate my old and used clothes to beggars, here comes pawn check and bishop h5, how can you endure this position, if you some any easy move because what can I expect from your two gigabytes ram brain, we will sacrifice our rook, this is just devastating, eliminating the knight to play bishop g6, the queen is coming and how can you stop checkmate, the game will be over and out. Trust yourself, you have survived a lot, and you will survive whatever is coming, going back, dragon played knight a6, now f4 is kind of misleading tactic as the g4 square will be a throne for the Vladimir Putin or Benjamin, if you know politics then very good, you will get full marks at exam, couple of moves later, we have knight c6 rook d1 and black will lunch his rockets to sun to go there, you may think that sun is very hot, how can one man go there, no fool, he will go in night time, think like me. Alright, black have some passive pieces which is why he tried to upgrade his iPhone to 15 Pro Max, c4 and I want to exploit the center with c5, he tried to fight with me but I have three wise people, one wise person is equal to the two strong musuals man, and we have big exchanges, the center is closed, black bishop is smoking cigarette in his cabinet, g4 can come to break your window while playing football, chess pieces are like football players, they run on the 64 squares to goal a check to the goal post king. The queen is coming which is the tiger on the carom board, if take take then black should have gone for rook a6, but if you play knight e6 it will you're unfortunate that you haven't see your weak pawn on f7, queen e8 can be played but if you play f6, try to run the give freedom to the bishop, we will give him a check, rook g3 and look at the king, his position is completely dead lost, even the knight is coming, it feels like a snake entered your bathroom while you were using the toilet, how can you escape? e6 is coming and after the king moves queen g6 will destroy you, and if you play e6 then welcome the queen with a flower chain on h5 square, the bishop will lost by the rook, and if you do nothing then prepare for queen h5 check, which is just a madness of dark clouds against the innocent trees and plants. When the rich make war, it's the poor that die, so in this position, black played rook b8, and I captured the pawn because I love to break someone's pawn structure and ego like Bobby Fischer, making a queen rook and bishop battery, queen d7 rook d2 to play queen c2 check, and black could defend his position with f5, which is the best move according to me, take take, of course the h5 pawn gets weak which can be attacked at some point, but after rook check rook g2, everything is fine for both sides. There is nothing mysterical Bermuda triangle activity in this position, 
but in our actual game Dragon played Rook B6. The beautiful thing about life is that you can always grow, change and get better, you aren't defined by your past, so the king moves on, because he want to achieve success in his life through the pieces, bishop exchanges queen b1 check and the king moves back to h8 you can jump the knight right in the away, he tried to exchange the queens but I showed him my powerful self, as queen c6 will meet up with rook c1 he played rook d7, rook g1 getting this file, knight to e6, takes takes, rook b8 and that's it. Attacking to the rook and the king is completely cut off his shape, by the rook like a knife cuts an apple, even if you capture the rook, your problem wouldn't solve, you will face food poisoning, and tobacco in your checks. Thank god, I am not a human, and friends if want to become a member of Stockfish then click on the subscribe button and do press with a like. If you want it, you will find a way, if you don't, you will find an excuse, so here we have rook g6, and the knight is coming into that way, rook here knight e6 queen to f5, attacking to the pawn. And if you dare to protect that pawn we will add pressure with the doctor knight, hey, doctor, please treat the patient, knight can't take the knight because of this and after you capture, the h5 pawn will be fall. It may cause checkmate in three moves I guess, yes, that's right, rook g2 will game over after one move. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself and now enjoy the game with my beautiful piano music. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.